Okay, guys, I am in a place that's the most depressing thing you ever see and might actually haunt you in your dreams tonight, so I won't forewarn you that, but I, um, I'm in a place called Jewel Valley, Virginia. Not to be confused with Jewel Ridge, Virginia. It's fairly close, actually even a different county, though. Uh, Jewel Valley is in Buchanan County, whereas Jewel Ridge is in Tazewell County, and Jewel Ridge is still in pretty good shape. For, for a coal camp, it's really good shape. Whereas Jewel Valley, as you're about to see, is just completely abandoned and a ghost town, literally. Um, bound to be ghosts down here. If they don't, they're missing a good opportunity because this could be a whole subdivision for them. I uh, don't usually bring company, but I got my buddy Taylor with me. He's out already out of the car, but we're uh, going to video this thing and show you what it's like because I can't believe I've scoured the whole internet and I don't see a single video of this place. Nowhere. So this is an exclusive. This, you're going to enjoy this one if you're into abandoned depressing sad things like I am <laughs> but this is Jewel Valley Jewel Valley was part of it was built by a man named George Carter from what I understand now again some of the, I, uh, hopefully this is accurate as I double triple checked as much as possible but if somebody knows better please correct me in the comments but it was built by George Carter as a model town back in the 1930s and it was built for he was a guy that started Clinchfield Coal Corporation and then over time, it, it became affiliated with Island Creek Coal and Pittston and uh, Jewel Smokeless. Hence the Jewel name comes into it too. Uh, Jewel Smokeless is still operates down in, I guess, Van Sant is where it's considered and uh, still pretty thriving as a coal and coke place. But, um, or the coke ovens that they have, which are amazing. I gotta get that at night sometime. Anyway, getting back to this, this camp was abandoned almost completely in the 1980s back when I, what i understand and what i again this is just secondhand knowledge from from people that were familiar with the area but there was some contamination problems with the water so everybody left at that point so you'll see all these houses nobody's lived there in a long 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 time in these houses and it's pretty depressing they use an abandoned church which you don't see very often so we got the church uh, an old store another company store was open as late as the 80s i guess 1984 ish and um, when all this bad water thing hit, and uh, I don't know if the cinder block building's it or not, hopefully somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that as well, because I don't see any other building that could be it, but you know, it's just, uh, this is a very remote part of Buchanan County and it's kind of hard to get your way around. You don't want to get lost because you got no GPS, you got no cell phone service, you got nothing. If you get out here and get lost, you're in deep doo-doo. So that's why I brought Taylor with me and he's, uh, I'm going to bail me out if I get lost here, so. Hope you enjoy this look at Jewel Valley, Virginia. Thank you. All right, we are here at Jewel Valley, Virginia, and it is a rainy, windy, cold, dreary day. I'm going to look around at this abandoned coal camp. Looks like these houses are actually some of the most recently used. Looks like it's almost livable condition compared to some of the others you're going to see here in just a minute. Take a look around here real quick. Yeah, look at rough shape. That is to make it look like there's people here. Scarecrow. Right. So I think the camp has been abandoned for somewhere in the vicinity of about 35 years now. It's really starting to take a toll on the place. Can't really see in there. This way, it's like. Here's an old church. I always hate seeing that. It's very lonesome and depressing in a way. Man, this wind is vicious. Could have picked a better day, but. Okay. Right here. I can't quite make out the sign yet. to be locked. So we have the Woosley Camp Holiness Church. It's hard to tell when this one out. Usually if the church goes out, you know it's a bad, bad sign for the rest of the community. They uh, usually the last thing to go. Usually kept in the best shape as well. People took a lot of pride in their churches in these coal camps for sure. Sometimes coke workers make them. 
Oh, really? Really? Still seems in pretty reasonable, decent shape. Come back this way. And that wind <laughs> just about knock you down. Unless there's anything else you see that's worth getting. I believe this should be good here. We'll, we'll go up here and look at these houses. You can see how it's down here over the hill. Really be overgrown in the summer. Very hard to see. Well, here we go. It stinks over here. I don't know if that's got anything to do with the water problems. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to go super close to this one. Get away. Let's check out that mailbox. It's kind of cool. Get a little shot of mailbox here. Looks like it said meadows. Shot. This looks like an old store. I don't, I don't know if it was a company store or not. I have no idea. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Architecture and design went into this one. <laughs> Can't really see what that is in there, can you? Okay. Uh, did I say hell? Uh, yeah. Welcome to hell. Reminds me of that Hot Plains Drifter movie. On Eastwood. I'm 
house. The whole entire back half of the house is gone. Not sure what would have caused that. Yeah, you can see that other house. Look out that window. This one's even still standing. And this right here is on its last leg, you can tell that. Good strong wind would blow it right over. Pretty stable. Okay, good enough. What did you say? All oh, right. You should see these in the summer when the kudzu and all the other greenery is up, and you can hardly even see these houses. Man, this is so overgrown. Like, that just looks so creepy. I'm gonna walk. Through. Should I walk through that? Who cares? I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Watch out. Uh, I don't know if I want to go much further. It does. Yeah, I don't think I'd go in that one. Walk down here and get kind of a shot of a couple of them in a row. There's the chimney, that place has collapsed. A lot of them have already gone. Well, I'm starting to come down a little bit. All right, I'll probably walk back. I don't want to get too close. Well, I'm guessing it's been a while since this old bus has been used. It adds to the effect, though. It's been over okay, let's try head back. Let's go back. All right, we better go now. It's going to come down. <laughs> it's going to really come down here in a second if we're not careful. Oh, well, see, look at Jewel Valley. Jewel Valley, Virginia, in Buckingham County. It looks like a horror movie.